morning, YouTubers and YouTuberettes. Uh, I should have let it dry out. It's a little bit moist. this time. My housekeeping uh, uh, hackered um, billiard. Uh, it's actually uh, uh, quite tall for a billiard. It's almost a stack. And there's that moist tobacco again. And I'm smoking smoking a uh, Hearth and Home Blend called Lakeland Ripple. I actually had this uh, sitting in my tobacco closet for uh, a few months now. And uh, when I got it, had a variety of tobaccos open and didn't want to open up yet another one uh, so I just let it sit there uh, but recently thanks to a tobacco trade with uh, Glow 0115 a uh, Glen from England um, I got to experience firsthand uh, what some Lakeland tobaccos are like and I really enjoyed them Definitely need to try this out. <laughs> so, uh, after enjoying uh, the blends that he uh, that he sent me so much, I decided to open up the uh, Hearth and Home uh, Lakeland Brickle, Brickle. and. Uh, quite glad that I did. Uh, it uh, has a whole... <laughs> I really should have tried this out. <laughs> it has a uh, wonderful taste. Floral taste that you associate with Lakeland uh, blends from England comes through uh, uh, very clearly. Uh, now I'm not, I've got very limited uh, exposure to Lakeland blends, so I can't, you know, say really how well this stacks up. I should probably send some of this to Glenn and uh, let him judge for, him, for himself to see how well it sticks up to uh, true Lakeland brand blends, which I'll probably do. Glenn, if you're watching, I'll, I'll send you some of this. I still got your address. But um, I really enjoy it. Regardless of whether it uh, really represents uh, what a Lakeland blend is or not, I really enjoy it. So, uh, two thumbs up to Hearth and Home. <laughs> uh, there was a there's a, been a thread going around lately, if you will, in the. Uh, Pipe presenter community about uh, how you got started smoking, and uh, I've mentioned it once or twice in comments, but I've never made a video about it, so I guess I will now. Uh, I would also.
also like to mention that Jake Hackard makes a wonderful, wonderful pipe. It has a beautiful draw, and it's just, it, it's, it's, a, it's gorgeous in the hand. I mean, it has a great feel to it. It has a nice, a nice look to it. I, I'm not sure if my camera will focus on that properly. But it's one of my favorites. Uh, that and my uh, Jake Hackard poker. Uh, they're both, you know, uh, in my list of my top five favorite uh, <laughs> pipes. <laughs> So anyway, uh, back to how I started smoking. I did briefly, very briefly, smoked pipes uh, way back in the early 80s when I first joined the Army. And uh, to be honest, I didn't enjoy it very much. Uh, the only thing I had smoked was the, the basket pipes and uh, over-the-counter blends. I know there are some over-the-counter blends which are quite good, but uh, I've discovered that most of them I don't enjoy. Uh, the only ones I really enjoy at all are Carter Hall and Captain Black in the white, white uh, pouch. But again, I haven't tried the other Captain Blacks either, so I don't know about them. But like Prince Albert, I don't like it. Half and Half, I don't like it. Um, Granger, Walnut, I don't like them. So far, it's just uh, Carter Hall and the uh, Captain Black White. Um, Borkum riff, I tried that, I didn't like it. So, uh, long story short, I gave up uh, after about six months or so, and, uh, you know, didn't smoke again until I was uh, 49 years old. And the reason I got into it again was because I, I was reading a novel that I really enjoyed, and two of the characters in the novel were friends and shared pipes together. Yeah. That's the reason I got back into it, as stupid as that sounds. And um, uh, so this time around, I knew enough to do it right. So before I ever went out and bought a pipe, I went and uh, uh, got on the net and read about pipe smoking. I read about tobaccos. And um, uh, when I went, uh, when I finally made the, you know, bought uh, my first pipe, it was not a. Uh, I, I went and walked into the local B and M, and the lady said, "Well, there's, you know." I told her I was just starting up smoke pipe smoking, and she said, "Well, we got basket pipes here," and I said, "No, I don't even want to look at basket pipes." <laughs> and uh, I, I said, "What do you got in the fifty, sixty dollar range?" And she showed me a uh, uh, some Nordic, you know, uh, seconds and some uh, Stanwell second. And um, uh, I ended up getting uh, getting a Stanwell second, and um, um, and a corn cob pipe, <laughs> and, and uh, bought a varieties of tobacco from her. And I told her what I was interested in, uh, and uh, no over the counters. And then uh, once I started, I you know enjoyed it. And, enjoyed it and uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, should have dried this out it's quite moist <laughs> so Once I had uh, 
you know, and the corn cob pipe, I was amazed, uh, uh, amazed at really I was, but I had read a lot of places where corn cobs delivered a nice smoke, you know, that, that people usually basically scoffed at them because of their price and the fact that they were a cob instead of a briar. But I decided to give it a try for myself and not, you know, not just blow it off and say, well, it's not worth trying. So I picked up a corn cob in the Nording second. And I've never been disappointed in the uh, cobs. Um, I no longer smoke the Nording second, but you know, uh, it's just because I have nicer pipes. Um, uh, or Stanwell second, my bad. I do still smoke uh, the, the Nording second, it's in my regular rotation. Got, this was the third pipe that I ever bought, and uh, it's still in my still in my rotation. But then <laughs> my rotation uh, consists my rotation actually consists of yeah. <laughs> My rotation consists of about uh, uh, 15, about 40 pipes. <laughs> uh, so about half of my collection. <laughs> um, uh, and then I started uh, ordering up tobaccos through the mail. And, uh, and now I don't hardly ever go back for something from the brick and mortar uh, in terms of tobacco. Um, so, like my tamper. <laughs> so, I've been smoking now for about eight months and uh, been enjoying it ever since. And I'm glad that I took the time to uh, do some reading on the net, find out, you know, about pipe smoking uh, before getting back into it. It made a big difference in my enjoyment. So, there you have it. Uh, a review of Hearth and Home uh, Lakeland Brickle. I enjoy it. I'll send I'll send some to Glenn so that he can give a uh, a thorough uh, review of it, comparing it to real uh, Lakeland blends, and uh, and little story of how I started uh, got back into smoking uh, the second time around. Uh, so until next time, may all your uh, roads be smooth. The chicken house is closed. May your pipe never run empty.